so many of us are looking to cut back on our salt intake, so we've got some tips to flavor your food without using salt. Chef Paul Lilikis is with us in the kitchen. Thanks for having me. <clears throat> Well, I love that we're going to be talking about this because when we talk about flavor, it's not just about salt. There's a lot of ways to do that. So why yeah. is skipping the salt maybe beneficial for our cooking? So it's just, I think, good to understand that seasoning doesn't just mean added salt. Yeah. It, it, there are many different layers to seasoning, and I've brought a few. It, that's well-balanced cooking because yeah. flavor comes with all sorts of different accents to it. And so I've kind of broken it down here, ways that you can up the flavor, up the umami, up the acidity, with and, and maybe reduce the salt at right. the same time. Yes, because a lot of folks are concerned about that and they have that as a goal. Yep. So let's get into your first tip. Uh, you sort of mentioned it, add acidity. Exactly. So there are simple ways to add acidity. Yep. Almost all foods can benefit from a little bit of acidity for balance. So one of the simplest ways, use all kinds, there are all kinds of interesting vinegars out there Ooh. on the market right now. Okay. You've got pomegranate vinegar, you've got fig balsamic, white balsamic, really good quality balsamic, champagne vinegar. When, here, oh, that sounds good. I'll let you try this. This is a pomegranate vinegar. So okay. It's made with pomegranate juice. And you could use it in salad dressing or, Ooh. you know, when you got roasted vegetables coming out of the oven. It's good though. Sizzling, it is good. Yeah. And it's light, it's fruity. A little drizzle on there Very just nice. to deglaze the pan, it adds something. Here, I'll, I'll take that. that. I'll drink that later. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> What if you're not doing uh, if you're not doing vinegars? What else do we add for you could acidity? Citrus, classically, okay. little yep. squeeze of lemon juice, lime juice, orange juice. It just brightens up dishes and it makes them more well-rounded. Adds a little bit of brightness. Huge flavor there for sure. Yeah. Next up, you say we need to add umami. Umami. What is yeah. umami? So umami is the fifth taste. So you can taste sour, salty, bitter, sweet, sweet mm -hmm. but. It's characterized by that savoriness. So right. things that are high in glutamic acid, things like sun-dried tomatoes, hard mm. cheeses, soy sauce, things that are fermented, you know, yeah. that they hit your mouth and they kind of make your taste buds come alive. So yeah. a great thing to do, okay, I've used this as an example. Okay. I've taken cauliflower and I've just roasted it. No salt. Yep. And I've taken Parmesan <laughs> cheese, grated, and I've just baked it till it becomes a crisp and then Delicious. I've, I've made it into kind of like a powder that just goes on top and here. A little taster for you. So you made it, so you baked it. Yep. And then you you just crushed it? That's it. It crushes just like that. Nice. And then you can sprinkle that on top, and it not only adds a little bit of mm. saltiness, but it adds umami. It adds mm -hmm. that savory quality. It's delicious. No one's, no one's ever going to tell you hold the cheese. Never, never. Right? It's, it's, like, a, it's like a cauliflower gratin, but it's yes. literally there are three ingredients here. That's beautiful. A beautiful yeah. way to bump up your veggies as well. Yeah. Um, okay, let's talk a little bit about spices. Yes. Because um, when I think of seasoning, I don't think of salt. I think of all this, this, the seasoning spices we right. use uh, on our food. So let's talk about what they can add. Okay, so <clears throat> specifically here, I'm talking about spices that add heat. So yeah. up the spice, down the salt a little. So I've used just a simple fried fingerling potato. Okay. Very lightly salted. Okay. So you still want a little bit of salt on yeah. something like that. But I've dialed back the salt on this and added lots of freshly cracked black pepper. So if you'd like to try this, it's just, it just, you don't, you realize by trying something like this, you don't need as much salt. What you really need is to layer on things that add a little bit of heat and complexity. So this is the lightly salted one. Yep. And this one I've cracked some fresh black pepper onto and there's just a lot more going on. I mean, it's no, the sound, a lot more it going sounds on. simple, salt and pepper. But, yeah. you know, people forget. You can dial back the salt, or you can use cayenne. It's having a moment right like now. Bad idea. Great for your, uh, great for digestion. Yeah. Fresh chilies, or really whatever you like. For sure. Uh, instead of like grabbing the salt shaker and, and going ham on everything you've yeah. got, think about other ways to do it. Exactly. I love using peppers and using black pepper for sure is a, is a great way to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about pickled items. Okay. Uh, they ha they pack a good punch. Yes. Right? Yeah. So also always adding acidity. Now let's not kid ourselves. Pickles have salt. Everyone knows yeah. that. Whether yeah. it's pickled onions or pickled beans or pickled peppers. But how about instead of adding any salt, you're just slicing up some of those items and mixing them into whether it's a salad, whether it's a stew. I made these pickled onions at home. They're just red onions, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt and water. And they have this beautiful color. Oh, that's and, amazing. Yeah, and they add that 
they add brightness from the acidity. Yes. They add a little sweetness, mm -hmm. and I don't add any extra salt when I add those in. You and don't need it. Exactly. Depending on how you cut them up and how you incorporate them, you can determine how much you get in every bite. Oh, I love that. And also, like, that's major flavor. Yeah. Which is what you're looking for. You're not really looking for salt when exactly. you're adding salt. You're no. looking for flavor, right? It's not boring food. That's, that's what you're right. looking for. That's right. That's right. Okay, can we talk about soy sauce? Yeah. Which we know is... A major culprit. Very high in sodium. Yep. Yeah. So, what I've done in my house, I just always opt for sodium reduced soy sauce. Okay. Yeah. yeah. About 30% less sodium. Less sodium. Yeah, you, you can really see there. can't tell. And one of my favorite ways to use it is just to, to broil broccoli. Yep. I just toss it in a little bit of soy sauce and oil, and then I put it under the broiler until it's got nice color on it. Another very cooking tip, just char your vegetables you know i don't know about you but i grew up eating a lot of gray Boiled. broccoli yeah microwave to mm -hmm, death mm -hmm. so by charring it a little bit of soy oh that's a, good a little bit of sriracha a little bit of sesame on top and that's it a simple side dish lots of flavor the sriracha is doing it for me mm -hmm. oh i love that i put Paul, it on everything incredible tips